Welcome in Aquarius. Welcome in new subscribers too. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Before we get started Aquarius, I'd like to invite you to follow me on my Instagram page. I do a live every week. Um, I've left a post up in the community tab actually, so uh, do check that out guys. Um, very interesting topic this week as well. Um, yes, uh, for those of you that are social media friendly, do check me out there, chance to get to know me better, um, to even interact with me and see what else I get up to there as well. Um, also guys, I just wanna say that I am on Etsy. I keep forgetting to inform you that, quite new. I haven't really used it at the moment, but I do have a few items up for sale there. Uh, so do check that out also. Um, if anybody's wanting to book a personal reading with me, check the description below. I've left the links and details there. Um, also, if you book via DM, or email you will receive five pounds off your personal reading guys so do bear that in mind Aquarius let's get into your reading your first card is the world then we have the ten of wands the hierophant ten of swords ace of cups and everything is fine so Aquarius it's like the world card very much a new cycle breaking a cycle a cycle has been pro broken a new cycle has started for you however there is definitely something here that you are clinging on to something that's over it's completely finished okay ten of wands it's like clinging on to something that isn't there okay it's like a hard pill to swallow it's a matter of accepting that this is no longer a thing yeah the hierophant something traditional it could be a, a marriage that you've had to leave or just a commitment um, and it's it's very difficult for you to kind of accept that it's over mm -hmm. perhaps needing some advice or even therapy for some of you guys the ten of swords as I said it's over possibly even feeling backjabbed betrayed um, yeah very low lots of love held for a person yeah or for you for, by another person but it's not you know it's not going anywhere everything is fine you're having to walk around and pretend that um, Aquarius, perhaps this situation, perhaps it's been over for a long time or some quite some time now. OK, and it's walking around like everything's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with it. But really and truly, it's it's not. Yeah, you're not happy with the outcome. Hmm. It's been a very hard pill for you to swallow or for your person. even. We shall read on Aquarius. Tell me more about Aquarius' situation. So we have two of wands, we have five of swords. So Paris is looking as though somebody's not sure what to do. Don't know what to do, feeling defeated there with the five of swords. Having to walk away when you don't want to, feeling defeated. Lots of love still in your heart. Yeah, It's like a lump in the throat. Not sure what to do with the two of wands. This is, you know, feeling like you still have a choice. Yeah, this is, you know, it's, it's kind of crushing. Heart question, even. One more card, please. Oh, okay. There we are. Pretty much sure you saw that then. And we did have two. Uh, one just skimmed across the screen. So we have the, the Seven of Pentacles. And we also have the Lovers. Gemini energy there. Seven of Pentacles. This is looking back at all that was invested. All that could have been. Wanting it back even. Still feeling the connection. Still feeling a part of your person. Still feeling tied to them feeling like they belong to you, like you're supposed to be together, that kind of energy. All right. Very interesting. Let's have a look at your person. Let's see what your person's energy is saying. Tell me about Gemini's person. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles. See, yeah, they're holding back. They're not wanting to invest yeah. into anything here. Justice, Libra energy. Your person could be a Libra Um um, this may, as I said, with the Hierophant coming out, this may be something that was it, it's something that's ended that may have been a marriage, even. Perhaps there's something they're not giving you. And I feel like you're OK with that. You, I think you just want the love back. You want your person back. You want what's lost back. Yeah. But justness, this has been this, a decision that worked out fair for all. Yeah. 
very much Libra energy. One more card. I did ask about your person, so yes. Let's stick to that. One more card for Gemini. Oh, sorry. Aquarius's person. There we go. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And I did say, I feel like, you know, there's something that they're not giving you and they're taking their very little time to give it to you. And perhaps that's what's making you feel so connected to this person. That might be the right closure for you here, Aquarius. Mm. Yes, but your, your person's holding back something from you or not giving you something. Taking their merry little time. Moving on. What's the next steps for Aquarius here? Wow. We have the six of wands. We have strength. Ooh. Next step. Next step is finding the strength within yourself here. I would say um, it, this is like a small victory. So it could almost be getting what you want uh, materialistically from your person. Okay. Um, and it, it may you kind of regain some sort of strength from that or you're feeling you're feeling good you're feeling quite powerful that you've achieved that um the high priestess this is somebody that's quite intuitive perhaps you've had to follow your intuition or you've learned to a lot more now and that that a lot more now sorry and that's given you strength helping you to feel stronger and that could just very well be the victory here um aquarius that could very well be it but there is a small victory here. and I feel like this is for you because this the high priestess is your energy this is Aquarius energy here the high priestess and it's trusting and knowing you're trusting your gut and knowing that your intuition is is there for a reason and you trust in that too trust in your higher self you know talks with the divine I'm hearing right. let's go in for an outcome what's the outcome here for Aquarius Page of Swords. Mm, that's a spying card there. Someone's watching, gathering information. This could be a younger person. Perhaps you are the younger person in this situation. Knight of Cups. So someone coming to offer you something. This could very well be an apology. After you receive that full small victory there. Okay. Somebody sees this. They're watching you. So I feel I do believe that your person and I ask for an outcome. Your person is going to watch and wait for the right moment to come in with this apology. It, it doesn't have to be apology. It could be it's some sort of offer here. OK. There you go. The Empress, some sort of offer. And it might even be. OK. It might be something quite controlling on a less, of course, because the Empress is quite big energy here. Taurus energy. This might be an offer of do you want to like the start to something to to kind of rebuild this connection but if that's the case okay remember i asked for an out, outcome if that's the case and your person is only giving it to you because of the victory that you had i'd be very careful i'm gonna get you one more card sorry i'm gonna clarify that let's clarify clarify this outcome here let's be sure about this shall we Aquarius? There we go. We have wisdom, high priest. We got the high priestess, and we got the high priest as well. So do follow your gut, follow your intuition. Okay. The empress is, as I said, it's quite big energy. The empress doesn't really need anything. In fact, it's it's more of a want. Okay, everything she needs is within her. So if it's telling me that. But perhaps when they come with this offer, it's it's like hitting a brick wall because they see how much stronger you are now. Like you're you're so much more in tuned with yourself, trusting yourself, your gut, your intuition, intuition, intuition. Okay, let's um see what the oracle is saying. And the oracle says stress reduction, de-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. Absolutely. One more card for Aquarius, please. Purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. Absolutely. It's time to release, trust your gut and release whatever needs to really be released. Sorry. And do you? As always, guys, 
Do take what resonates, leave whatever doesn't, and do not force anything to fit with your situation. Tarot is guidance and guidance only, not the gospel. It doesn't replace any medical or professional advice or treatment. This is strictly guidance. It's totally up to you what you do with the guidance. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, leave it. Um, yes, have a wonderful day. Um, peace, love and light to you all and take care until next time.